All right. Push your hand production. So, what I want to talk about today is progression, right? I just finished uh, watching the, uh, the Rick Ross interview on The Breakfast Club. And I must say, uh, Mr. Mr. Rick Ross has uh, come a long way, right? Come a long way, come a very long way. And uh, the progression is very evident. It is very evident. The progression is very evident. You could see it. You could see it in the music. You could hear it in his voice. You could hear the words that he's using. You could hear. You could see it in his mannerisms, right? And it it it, it got me to thinking. Uh, in life, right? Progression is important. Especially for an artist, right? Now, I'm an artist. I do music. Okay? And I have seen the progression in my music, in my work. Okay? I went from uh, doing a lot of rapping to uh, doing a lot of reggae. And then I'm more focused now on break and scrape which is bohemian music right so i haven't been i haven't been stuck on rap i haven't been stuck on reggae i have decided that to uh immerse myself in my own culture and do something for my culture is much more important and it's more progressive not only for me but for everyone from the Bahamas and for the Bahamas on the whole. So, progression, very important. That's what it got me thinking when I saw that uh, that interview. Nah, back to Rick Ross, right? And progression, right? He, have a, he has a few people who we going at, right? Who we have a little tiff with, right? And uh, 50 Cent is one of them. <laughs> now, Everybody got their fans when you on that level, right? You got die-hard fans, right? But, man, not to say that I'm like a musical god when it comes to criticizing music, right? But, trust me, I reel it in a lot of people. A lot of people in the game, because a lot of people in the game so fake. A lot of people in life are so fake. And I, I, I feel like I'm, a lot of people will say they're the realest, but shit. Trust me, you know, a lot of y'all ain't too real. Trust me, y'all take it and fucking three cents. But anyway, Rick Ross and 50 Cent, right? Now, 50 Cent at the beginning. <laughs> at the beginning, he was uh, he was he was doing his gangster thing, right? Shoot them up, bang, bang, on the mixtape circuit, like, between 99 and 2004 when he was really blow up, right? 2004, he came out, mainstream, you find me in the club, bottle full of bub, that that man? Thanks to stuff, right? Now, 2004, 2000, like 2012, 10 years, plus 3, 13 years, 2014, listening to music the topics are exactly the same alright exactly the same you don't hear one inch of you don't hear one inch of uh, like social commentary or it's like no sign of progression in the music it's just like it's just packaged to be Shoot 'em up, bang bang. Generic shoot 'em up, bang bang. Straight through. And this music has suffered. This music has suffered. After Get Rich or Die Trying, he put out the monster, right? After that, none of his albums really. Really, it was, it was a decline. It was, it was a decline. They 
grab almost a few months. Now on the other hand, we go off. Okay. It hasn't, it hasn't been that way at all. It has been a progression. Okay. And you know what I think it means? Yeah, he spoke about drug dealing. And he still do. He still do. But the words, the topics, and the speak on social issues, like mixed in with the drug talk, it, it, it has picked up. Especially his last, it's like the last nine months, like this is his social commentary has picked up. And you can tell even in the interviews, sound much more well-rounded you know because i was really like i was really like almost like giving up on him i was like even though the beats sound good if these people keep on saying saying shoot them up bang bang or in his case in rick ross case just uh cocaine this and cocaine that and white this and white that and guns 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 i can't listen to you Marcus. What, what the fuck am i getting from it I feel like the bar and hip hop, I feel like the bar is it's Machiavelli. Machiavelli was the bar. You know why it was the bar? Because it was balanced. It was balanced music. It was hardcore street music and it was social commentary and everything in between. Okay? He spoke about his mother. He spoke about killing Biggie, he spoke about pain, he spoke about joy, okay, now, that's balance, so, I, I'm listening to Rick Ross a lot now, because she, his music is off the chain, he's picking really good beats, and his topics are much more balanced, and I, I watch the interviews, a lot of interviews of hip hop, uh, artists, right? Because it's very important to me to do to do so because not only is it entertaining, it lets me know what's going on in the game and who I should be following. Because it's not just about the music anymore; it's about the person behind the music. Music because a lot of people when you meet them in person, you be like, God damn, damn fuck with you. I, I don't want to fuck with you at all because you're in balance. You're just as a, a weak person, you're just you're just a fake person. You know what I mean? So, listening to his interviews Push shows the progression, you know? And uh, I think that hip hop, hip hop is in good hands. I think that hip hop is in, in good hands with Rick Ross. Believe it or not, what the fuck the naysayers? These people, trust me, people nowadays, <laughs> they don't have nothing to say. You know what I mean? They treat words like Lepers, you know, it's like um, something that is material that could just be discarded. They don't treat words as energy, as seeds, as something that's nutrish, nutritious. They don't. Just like the Republicans and Obama. <laughs> no matter what Obama does, no matter how good of a president he is, they always insult him. They always say lies. They always try to get under his skin, right? And the things that they say are, are not true at all. At all. And the things that they say isn't going to help the, com- the country at all. So, man, that's why when people run on and run on and say whatever they have to say about you, you should always realize that it's waste. It's, it's nothing. It, 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 words do hurt, but only if it's true. So you have. That's why it's so important to know yourself. Because if you know it ain't true, then it, then don't allow it to matter to you. Because for it to matter to you, it it, 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 it makes it. It don't make it true, but it's it's like a violation. It's like should be against the law for it to monitor you because 
Push ahead in production. It isn't coming from an honest place and it's totally false and it shouldn't matter, right? It shouldn't matter. So, progression. I like to see the progression in people, man. I like it. And in my life, I, I've seen progression, you know? I've, I've, I've come a long way, you know what I mean? Mentally, physically, you know what I mean? Financially. I have come a long way, and I there has been a progression, you know what I mean? So, I respect that. And I say Rick Ross right now is the hip hop, is the hip hop, is the number one hip hop artist right now. The number one hip hop artist right now is Rick Ross. I would give it to him. I would give it. I would give him that title right now. I like. Now nah, it's gonna be interesting because he just this Drake. So Drake is gonna be coming at him very soon, right? So it's gonna be real interesting because it ain't gonna be a meat mill situation when there's hesitation and just you know just losing a window of opportunity to really throw a job and an uppercut or right hook. No, I think if he comes back, if he fire more, if he fire shots at Ross. Ross is gonna fucking be on it right away because then I get fucking recording so much. He putting in so much work, and a lot of people is just, oh, you have talent, but you gotta fucking work it. You can't just sit on your ass and fucking say I have talent. Some people like me, so you know, I ain't gonna work on my, my craft. No, you gotta work at it. You gotta work at it. You gotta work at it. That's why I always putting out songs. That's why I always working. That's why I always work and I always putting in songs. You know what I mean? <laughs> because it, it's important to it's important to keep working. It, it's very important to make sure that you shop with your craft. You know what I mean? This opportunity could happen at any time. So progression, my friends. I, I see the progression in Ross, and it's gonna be very interesting in hip hop. Hip hop ain't going nowhere. They used to say rap is whack, but look look at us now. Twenty years later, thirty years later, hip hop is still going strong, man. Underground, mainstream, still going strong. Yes, it is. No matter what they say, there's so much different hip hop artists, the whole variety, shit. Every topic you could find. But it don't always be a person who covers all the topics. One artist. Rick Cross is doing that the most right now. The beats, the, the, the topics, the flow, uh, the image. You know what I mean? He has a woman on his side now that shows balance. So kudos to him. Kudos to anyone who is progressing in life. Keep progressing. John, get beyond. Give me music.